right, uh, I just want to uh, <laughs> uh, close this up. Uh, we're now in the challenge phase of today's talk. Um, so uh, what we put on your table, uh, there are scriptures. Uh, before you put them in your wallet, fold them up, put them in your pocket. This is what I want you to do. Um, this is uh, a level of commitment time. Get somebody's phone number at your table, write it on the back, and I want you to be committed for the next four weeks to memorizing one of these scriptures and sometime during the week, you call that person, and uh, this is honor system, and that you, that you read it to them from memory, okay? And uh, if you're having trouble with it, that's okay. If you're not used to m memorizing scripture, that's okay. Uh, but that's part of um, this commitment. I want to see you guys. And look, um, this isn't just something for you to do. I, I don't want you to come in here and think, oh, you know, this is something I want to allow you to kind of release God to work in you, okay? There are things we need to do, you know, and it's, and it's kind of like this. If I put it in a monetary value, if I told you if you gave me a dollar, I'd give you a thousand dollars, every one of you would be grabbing in your pocket for a ten, a twenty, or what, right? But kind of the way God works on a spiritual sense and all that, is, it's the same way. What he's asking for us compared to what he's giving us does not compare. So what I'm asking you, I'm not asking you a lot, but I am asking you to change something in your life. Okay, so here's it, here's it is. There's four scripture verses, and be thankful that my printer was running out of ink because I actually had 12, and uh, I had to cut it down so I could make sure I printed one out for each of you. <laughs> yeah, that's called grace, guys, and uh, God ha has that in store for you. Um, Okay, so that's one. All right, here's another one I want to challenge you with uh, for the next seven days. Uh, it's about television. I challenge you guys for the next seven days to not turn on the TV. What about Monday night? Can't do not that. turn on. Playing not <laughs> turn on the TV. Can't do that, okay, buddy. see that's exactly it. Are you putting that before God? Honestly, I'm 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 weighing this out. And there's an opportunity. And the greater the sacrifice, the greater the reward. And I know it's a tough. I know national play championships. I know playoffs are coming up. But what do you want? You want to watch another football game? Or do you want to see God move in your life? Honestly, I mean, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so, guys, I'm serious. Seven days. And, I, and to some of you, that means a lot. Okay? But in the reality, how much, uh, uh, really, what is that? In comparison to what we're looking to do. And this is kind of, you know, this is on your own, actually. I'm not, I'm just babysitting him, but the rest of you are on your own about this because you have to be willing to make a difference to see God step into your life. Okay? I cannot bring my son to Christ. I cannot make him accept him. I can't even make him move forward. You know? There are things I can't do. And I, and, and I can't get you guys to move forward. I can sit up here and talk to you. I can tell him what he's willing to do. I can share scripture with you. But this is on you. And this is for his glory, but it's going to be him honoring you through the things you're willing to give up. Here's another one. Uh, fast something in the, in the neighborhood of food. What is something that you really like? Woody, um, that you just, Very one of the, <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Seven days. What is that thing that, that you crave, you know? And I tell you, um, and it's not that I haven't been challenged. I'm making all the food at my house that I've chosen not to eat. I, I'm not big on the little Debbie, like, ho-hos in there, but every time I open my cabinet, I really want one of those, but, uh, uh, but find something, and listen, you know, if you have a problem with, uh, if you're diabetic, don't tell me you're going to give up sugar, you know, I mean, I'm serious, you give up something that means something to you, okay, give up something that means something to you, what we're doing here is we're making room for God to work. Do you know that giving up TV and giving up these foods, um, I think uh, for me this week, I've been more well rested. Oh, you know what it's left me? It's left me relationships. That's with my kids, my ex, uh, and God. Because when I'm not distracted by TV, what am I going to do? 
Well, I need to talk or read or pray. I need to fill that time with something else. And it has been a fruitful time because I have had some great calls, talks with you guys, and, and I have been able to meet you. And the level of it is incredible. And I feel this fire just building up inside of me. And honestly, I can go on and on and on, but I need to stop here because you guys need to start so you can be going on and on and on. All right? So find something. <clears throat> and here's what I would like you to do at least for a bit of accountability, share with somebody on, on that table what it is you're gonna give up, okay? And there's the two sides to accountability. The person that you share it with needs to call you and ask you about it. Let's build a relationship for this week, okay? And hold to it. We're men, we, let, let's live up to this. Let's live up to honoring God. Let's live up to uh, relationships with one another. Let's live up to a commitment. Let's live up to accountability. Let's live up to the things that we can do for one another. So uh, in Romans, in chapter 12 and around 4, it says, look, we're all part of the body and we all belong to one another. That means we're responsible to and for one another on a level, okay? All right? <clears throat> Don't make an airplane out of this and fly it out your window on the way home, all right? All right? Honestly, just, uh, just step up. Watch what God's going to do. Get those numbers. Make that commitment. Make room for God. Okay? Make room for God. Let me pray. God, you are an amazing, awesome God. And I thank you. I thank you for the start uh, of this year. I thank you for that renewed passion and desire in my heart. And I want so much, so much for these guys to receive you. I want so much for them to live the plan that you have for them. I want so much for them to just go ahead and surrender the things that they cannot do on their own, to leave the things that only you can do, and to leave their lives open and say yes and be willing to move into whatever you have, God. And I ask this all in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me... Okay, hey... Let me share one last thing, one last thing, all right? Um, part of my uh, commitment that I decided in going all in was uh, with Rhonda and signing, co-signing a lease that she couldn't afford. And we don't really have a good financial history, but that put me on the hook uh, for a year at this apartment. And she really only intended to stay in six months. And I'm like, all right, but I want to go all in. Well, I shared this with Woody, and Woody's like, you know, Steve, there is uh, wisdom in, in the Bible that says we're not supposed to, like it doesn't say co-sign for an apartment, but the meaning is we're not supposed to get caught up or hooked up in that, okay? We're supposed to not. Well, what happened was is I had decided to do this to go in my efforts to go all in, but because God saw that I was willing, my daughter called me the next day and said, Dad, Mom found an apartment. I said, uh, yeah, that's great. And she said, but she doesn't need a co-signer. So there's something in the Bible where God gives grace to fools, okay? And there's something about us stepping in because if, that's, if it is God's will that we don't do that, he stepped in there and helped me in that area. I might have gone in, you know, to this unknowingly or just kind of just, you know, wanting to do something for God. But I'm starting to see he won't allow us to go against his word. That's not, that's not our God. He's going to uphold scripture. Not a single dot or tittle, whatever, will come back to him void. He is honoring uh, his word. The earth, right, and heavens will pass, but his word will stand forever. So guys, go out there, make those commitments, and watch God. I, I'm looking forward to the stories that I'm going to hear from you, okay? Ron, I'll be calling you. All right. Have a great day.